This very short video is an addition to my quick introduction to the 828 Mark III. People said to me, OK, we love the old 828, but what does the new one sound like? Well, the only way to give some sort of idea is to make some recordings using different microphones. Now, this range of mics that I'm using, I hope, represents a range that's available to, to potential users of the new mixer. This microphone is a JM47. It's a, a, an old large diaphragm capacitor mic we made in the Joe Mink Company a few years ago. Uh, it's been my favourite vocal mic for, for quite a long time. This one is uh, an example of one of the very cheap microphones manufactured in China and sold, um, sold regularly on eBay for a very small amount of money. It has a remarkably good frequency response and um, I think quite a good sound. And this is the SM58, probably the most popular microphone in the world, I would, say, I would think. A really rugged microphone, not the greatest, but a good mic, used all over the place. This microphone is the Audio-Technica ST5040, a large diaphragm capacitor mic designed specifically for voice recording. In fact, when I say large diaphragm, it's actually got four diaphragms, uh, rectangular ones, and so it's very unusual. It has got an extreme low frequency response, which uh, is quite difficult to deal with on a lot of equipment. This microphone is a ribbon. It's the T-Bone RB500. Once again, it's a microphone manufactured in China, but it's of a slightly old-fashioned design. Not as popular in the UK as it was in the US, but uh, it's still a good mic and it works quite well into the H28 front end. This mic represents a sort of workhorse of the studio. It's the um, a small diaphragm capacitor mic, uh, but it's a true condenser. It's not a not an electret, and uh, these work really well in almost any situation in the studio. It'll take very high volume levels of brass blown straight at it, that sort of thing. A real workhorse. And finally, this is an old tube mic. It's uh, one that we manufactured in the Joe Meat Company a long time ago, and I've kept this one and uh, use it occasionally for vocal recording and for for speech. When I'm doing readings, It's uh, it, it does make a very nice sound. 